Hello, uh, in this video I am going to show you how we can stream back our video from Canasys video stream. Uh, in previous video I have uh, streamed my video from web camera to the Canasys video stream. So in this video I am going to play back that video which is already I have streamed to the Canasys video stream. So uh, let me show you how you can do that. So actually I am going to use uh, get media API in Python and I have it uh, write some code in Python which I will show you step by step. So there are some steps we have to take to get the media from uh, Kinesis video stream. So first of all you must have to stream your video to Kinesis video stream uh, either you are using put media API or you are using gstreamer plugin so you can uh, it is prerequisite that you have to stream your live video to Kinesis video stream so i'm not going to talk about that i will show you how we can stream that video back in our uh, laptop or our machine uh, through get media api so let's get started so first of all uh, because i'm going to use uh, python sdk so python sdk for Kinesis video stream uh, AWS has provided us the Boto3. Boto3 is the Kinesis uh, SDK for uh, Python. So I am going to import Python SDK. So this line import the Python SDK Boto3. Uh, then I am going to use OpenCV because uh, when I am going to get the frames from Kinesis Video Stream, I will show that uh, frames in our laptop uh, in a window so we can see that which frames we are getting back so I'm going to use Boto3 and CV2 uh, to get my video back so first of all I have created a stream and I am already streaming my video to Kinesis Video Stream so here is my stream name uh, so then we have to uh, configure the client so because we are going to use Kinesis Video Client so first we have to configure that so boot3.client we have to mention the which uh, Kinesis client we are going to use because Kinesis has different clients let me show you uh, Kinesis uh, provide us uh, three types of uh, clients that we can use to get media from uh, Kinesis video stream so let me show you here uh, yeah here it is just a second so we have Kinesis video archive media uh, client or we can use this API we have Kinesis video media API we can use that and we have Kinesis video so we have three types of API's that we can use uh, to stream video or uh, we can get back uh, that video from Kinesis video stream right uh, so I am going to use first of all uh, the Kinesis video API because that API help us to get the endpoints because when we are going to stream our video back in our laptop we need to get the endpoints so to get the endpoints the only API that help us is Kinesis video so through Kinesis video I can get my endpoints so in Kinesis video API I have to provide these parameters uh, API name and stream name so as I have already uh, declared my stream name here so I will pass that here uh, as a stream name and to use the API name I have I'm going to use get HLS streaming session URL so HLS stands for HTTP live streaming so I'm going to get the URL so for HTTP live streaming so I will when I will get the uh, I'm going to use that API to stream back my video so here I'm just uh, printing out my endpoints uh, then I am going to use uh, Boto3 don't client uh, Kinesis video archive media because uh, when I am going getting the URL of endpoints then I have to uh, get my other streaming URLs uh, to uh, show our live video in our uh, PC so I am uh, using another uh, API that is called Kinesis video archive media so for that I am passing an URL which I have got from other uh, API from above API right so here I already I, again I am going to uh, pass my stream name and then I am going to uh, show you that which uh, method we are going to use uh, there are two methods we can use on demand and we can use live videos uh, so here I am just going to use live video streaming playback right so this is the uh, client of Kinesis video RG media so we have to pass that too so at the end when we have get the URL HTTP live uh, HLS live streaming session 
then we have to pass that url to opencv so we can get the frames from our kinesis video stream so here i have just created a while loop in which i am getting i am reading that frames uh, step by step like if if frame is not none uh, if we are getting some frame then what i'm going to show the, show you that i am going to use opencv and it will show the frames uh, it will show our frames by frame window and it will show in a window in our laptop right so uh, if uh, i am going to end then it will break and everything will be uh, terminated okay so let me show you uh, demo first of all we have to uh, we have to stream our video so as i have already uh, uh, uploaded my video how we can stream our video so i'm just going to stream my video from my laptop here i have run that my command so it will stream my video from my laptop to kinesis video stream so my live video is streaming to the kinesis video stream so when i will run this code it will get that video back in our laptop and it will show in a window uh, through opencv right so as our video is uh, live stream to kinesis video stream i can show you where it is so here i have created my kinesis video stream which is name is a thick video stream so in this we can sh uh, see that our live video stream is playing here uh, let me refresh it in just a second okay so here our media is going to display which i have live streaming to kinesis video stream yes here you can see that uh, i am streaming live video to kinesis video stream and now i am going to get that this video back in my laptop so i have written that code let me run this code so when i will run this code uh, it will show me that which kinesis video stream is playing at kinesis video stream and it will show in a frame in our laptop so just a second it is running in backend so yes perhaps it will work okay maybe it is in process it is running okay yes here we go so we can see that uh, as i have told you that when our code will run it will get frame by frame from kinesis video stream so i can see my frames it will play, it will display first frame then it will display give some pause then it will play another frame so i can see my uh, video from kinesis video stream using pattern sdk which is bootloader 3 so i am using bootloader 3 sdk uh, to play back my kinesis video stream okay